looking for an at-home workout that isn't going to flare up your joint pain or isn't going to flare up your osteoarthritis, but it's going to help you get moving, burn some calories, and get some sweat going, this is for you. This is my beginner level series. You don't need any equipment, just some space. My name's Alyssa. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and founder of Keep the Adventure Alive, where we help you do just that, keep your adventure alive despite arthritis. I really hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do, we would really appreciate it if you would hit that red subscribe button below so you can get updates when we release new videos. Let's get started. Okay, so today we are here for a beginner series. You don't need any equipment for this workout. All you need is some space. If you're not really confident in your balance, you can also have a chair next to you to use for support if you need it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started with a warm up. So all I want you to do first is we're just gonna start stepping forwards and backwards. And one of the things I really want you to focus on is trying to lift your feet up with each step. I see a lot of people trying to drag their feet. I want you to think you're trying to step over something and same thing stepping back. Alternate which foot you're leading with. So we get even on both sides, alternate. Once you have this, you can go ahead and speed it up. Go at your own pace. Make sure you're alternating those legs that you're leading with. And now you're taking those steps sideways. Remember, same thing. You're taking a big step out to the side. Big step out to the side, as big as you can. Might feel a little robotic at first, but as big as you can, stepping side to side. Again, no dragging of the feet. Really try to lift them up as high as you can. All right, now you're just gonna go just to marching in place. All of these exercises you can make easier or harder depending on where you're at in your fitness journey. This one in particular, you can go ahead and speed it up or keep it slow. It's up to you. This is your workout. I'm just here to guide you through it. And keep going. Incorporate those arms. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and keep it going. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Three, two, and one. Okay, now I want you to take one foot in front of the other, and we're just gonna stand here. So it's a little bit of a wider stance, one foot in front of the other. Now, what I want you to do is you're just gonna alternate Swinging those arms just forward and back. Starting to get some blood flow in those arms. Bend your knees just a little bit so we're not standing up tall. They're nice and active. As you're bending, raising your arms. Kind of like an exaggerated walking. And then you're gonna switch. Switch legs so now the other foot is in front and you're reaching. Taking those arms out nice and long. Reaching. Nice soft bend in the knees. We're gonna stay here for about 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, last thing for those arms so we get them nice and warmed up. All you're gonna do is step, and I want you to make that arm as long as you can. Step, again, take a big step out to the side and reach out nice and long. Reach out nice and long. The further you step, the harder it's gonna be and you might actually get a stretch in that inner thigh. Big step out to the side. Big step out to the side. All right, we have just one more on each side. All right, now, what we're gonna do to get started, we're gonna get those heart rates going a little bit. So you're going to shuffle side to side. Make sure you have about 10, 12 feet, 
To make this harder, you can go along a hallway, but a longer distance is going to make this a little bit more challenging. What we're gonna do is just a side shuffle. We don't move side to side super often, and so this is one way that we're gonna work those muscles that do help us go that way. So all you're gonna do is essentially take a couple steps side to side. Once you get the hang of this, make it a little bit harder by just adding a small hop to it. So take it however you want. You can keep it steps or you can have that small hop. We're gonna go for about 20 more seconds. Keep it going. Really challenge yourself here. See if you can add that small hop. Three to five steps each direction. We have about five, four, three, two, and one. All right, rest here for a second. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna take those feet about shoulder width apart. And what I want you to do is focus on sitting your hips back. Just a small bend in the knees, you're gonna sit your hips back. Like you were gonna sit in a chair. So you're gonna reach those hips back. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this position. Reach your hips back and hold, kind of a mini squat position. So your quads are working, you can kind of feel them burning and we're just gonna hold this position. Now, if you can, I want you to now start just punching forward, alternating legs one at a time. Again, we are not here. You're gonna feel that in your knees. You're reaching your hips back, just a small bend in the knees. You should still be able to see your toes. And I just want you to alternate punching forward. And we're gonna stay here for about 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and shake that out a little bit. For the next one, I want you to put one foot in front of the other. Now, you can very easily make this harder or easier. One foot in front of the other, I want you to try. The hardest one is gonna be standing on a tightrope. Again, if you need a chair or something to hold on to, you can also Use a wall, one foot in front of the other. Now this position is going to be the hardest, one foot directly in front of the other. To make it a little bit easier, you can make it wider, or you can take your front foot out to the side so you're wider side to side. Find a way that works for you. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand in this position Stay in this position for at least 10 seconds. Get your confidence. Make sure you can stand here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to reach side to side. So you're just reaching across your body, just getting a small turn. We don't do so much twisting or so much rotation. So this is one way to kind of start to challenge that a little bit. If you notice that it's hard to hold, again, move that foot out to the side or you can move it further forward. And then just continue the same thing. We're gonna go for 15 more seconds here. You might feel your ankles start to wobble a little bit and that is okay. That means that they're working. And now we're gonna switch. So you're gonna do the same exact thing, but now your other foot is in front. Find a position, stand for 10 seconds, really get your confidence, modify your foot position, and then start reaching. If you do tend to get a little bit off balance or you do lose your balance, just recover, come back to the same position, and give it another try. The only way your balance gets better is if you challenge it. If this is really easy for you to do, I challenge you to go into a little bit harder position. Again, you can use a wall for support. Three, two, and one. All right, now I want you to march. We're just going to march forward. And I want you to try to go as fast as you can. We're going for about 30 seconds. 
And so if you can, you can almost make it into a, a small run or we can just be here marching as slow or as fast as you can. I like to incorporate the arms because it gives you a little bit more power. And we're gonna stay here for about 15 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, now I want you to imagine that there is a spot on the floor. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stand on, let's say the left leg first. Stand on the left leg. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to step and come back. Step and come back. Like you're stepping over a line, kind of like what we did in the beginning. I want your left leg, knee slightly bent. So we're not up tall, slightly bent and active. And try to just touch with your toe on that right side. If this is, feels good to you, you can challenge to take it to a kick. Take it to a kick side to side. This just means you're standing on one leg for a longer period of time. Stepping is gonna make it just a little bit easier. So find the position that works for you. And then I want you to try to speed it up a little bit. If you're stepping or if you're kicking, try to speed it up. You should primarily feel this on the left side, especially up in that hip. So stepping or kicking, it's up to you, but we're keeping going for about 10 more seconds. One thing you can do is alternate. Kick a few, step a few. Kick a few, step a few. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're moving to the other side. Stand on that right leg. You're gonna step or kick. Get into the rhythm here and then you, like I said, you can add in a few kicks as high or as low as you can or steps. We have about 25 seconds left. Find your rhythm, speed it up if you can. Get those heart rates going. Again, you wanna pick up that foot, don't drag it. Kicking will help with that, trying to kick out to the side. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay, now, all I want you to do is just stand in a normal position. You're just gonna bend your knees a little bit just so they're not locked out. You're gonna take your right arm, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach up as high as you can, reach down. Reach up, reach down. Reach up, reach down and we're going to keep going with this. Now you can bend your knees a little bit. We're not taking it to a squat, or you can stand just where you are, but to make it harder, you can move your legs just a little bit. Remember, when you do that, you're sitting your hips back, and we're not coming forward on those knees. Down and up, reach and reach. We're trying to get a small burn in those arms. And now we're gonna switch three, two, switch to the other side. Left arm now up and down, up and down. Slower as fast as you wanna go. Up and down, up and down. And we're gonna stay here for about 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to those side shuffles, but instead we're gonna take it forwards and backwards. So now what you're gonna do in this 12 foot section here, you're gonna take a couple steps forward a couple steps backwards, a couple steps forwards, a couple steps backwards. Again, make it harder. You can almost just take it to a light jog. Backwards tends to be a little bit more difficult for people just because we don't move backwards all too often. So make sure 
that you're not going to hit anything behind you and that you feel confident. Now when you go backwards, I want you to kind of lean forward just a little bit so it offsets your weight because if we are up too tall and then we try to go backwards, that's when we lose our balance. So just lean forward just a little bit and we have about 10 seconds left here. And rest. Okay, now we're going back to that feet in close to reach across side to side. So I challenge you to make this a little bit harder this time, especially if you mastered the last time. One foot in front of the other. Again, directly in front of the other is going to be the hardest, and then you can make it wider as you need to. Same thing, you're just going to reach right across. Now balance gets a little harder under fatigue. So because we've done a few other things, you might notice that this time around it's just a little bit harder. And that's okay. Just pick the modification that works best for you. And we're gonna stay here for about 15 more seconds. Again, if you do come off balance, just recover and then try to come right back to that position. Three, two, and switch other side so other foot is in front and now same thing stand for about 10 seconds make sure you're comfortable and then you're just reaching across side to side the quicker you go the harder it's going to be so you can slow it down if you need to or if you're having difficulty keeping this position Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're going back to that squat. So you're just gonna do a mini squat. Now I challenge you, if that was a little bit easy for you, to sit back a little bit further and bend those knees just a little bit further. Again, you're bending at the hips first. I like to sometimes use my hands to kind of sit the hips back and then you can bend those knees a little bit. So I want you to hold this position, look straight ahead, and you're just gonna punch forward, alternating those arms. Now in this squat position, you should primarily be feeling it in your glutes and the weight in your heels. Too often we're way forward on these and that puts a lot of stress on the knees. So you're sitting back, like there was a chair behind you. And really think about using those glutes. Three, two, and one. Okay, last exercise before we cool it down, all you're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that standing on one leg and you're going to step or kick. If you stepped last time and it felt okay, I challenge you to now try just a small kick out to the side. You can bring your foot down in the middle in between each rep, but I want you to really try to kick that leg out. Now to make it harder, you can go higher. And we have about 10 seconds left here. Three, two, and last one. Same thing, other side. You're standing right on that right leg and you're kicking or stepping on the left. Again, I challenge you to try that kick. If you need to, you can hang on to a wall as you come out to the side, but we're gonna stay here for about 15 more seconds. Feeling it in that right leg and that right hip. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna cool it down and I just wanna try one more exercise that's a little bit more of a balance exercise, but I really want you to try to breathe through this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on your right side. 
So you're going to stand on your right leg and you're going to take your left leg in front. Step out with the right, left leg in front. Take about two to three steps in one direction. Now you're standing on your left and you're taking your right leg, cross it in front. And when you're doing this, I want you to try to breathe through this, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And all you're doing is crossing your feet. And this is a slower movement, so your heart rate should start to come down. Step in front and then step out. Step in front and then step out. Step in front, step out, step in front, step out. And I want you to keep going with this for about 20 more seconds. Step across, step out. Step across, step out. Step across, step out. Take it nice and slow. Don't trip over your foot. If you need to when you're doing this, you can use a wall or a chair. Step across, step out. Just try not to step directly in front. You want to keep that foot just in front of the other one. And I want you to go one more time. Across, out, across, out. All right, perfect, okay. Now, I want you to do as slow as you can march. This one tends to be a little harder on the balance. As slow as you can up and down. As slow as you can up and down. The slower you go, the harder it will be. So if you need to just speed it up a little bit, you can. And now I want you to take those forward marches and now you're gonna lift your heel behind you. Lift your heel behind you just as much as you can. Even if it's just a little bit, that's okay. And now what I want you to do is just touch your heel forward. Touch your heel forward. Point your toe up to the sky. You might feel a small calf stretch. Hold for about one, two, and then come back. One, two. Three, two, and one. Okay, now I want your, what you're gonna do, you're gonna start on your right side. You're gonna reach forward as far as you can. Come out to the side and then come down. Push forward, out to the side, come back down. Push forward, out to the side, come back down. Forward, out to the side, come back down. Just a few more on this side. Forward, side, down. Just two more. Forward, side, down. Last one. Forward, side, down. Other side, left arm out straight, out to the side, and then back down. Forward, out to the side, back down. Forward, out to the side, back down. Five more, out to the side, back down. Four, three, two, last one. Okay, now what we're gonna do to finish off is you're just gonna take five deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Ready? Here we go. When you inhale, I want you to try one, two, three, out, one, two, three. I also want you to do before the next one to put your hand on your stomach. What I want you to do is fill your stomach up with air instead of 
coming up this way we're expanding our stomach you might have a little bit of a chest raise and we have three more into your nose one two three fill that stomach and then exhale out through your mouth one two three two more in through your nose fill that stomach up with air out one two three last one breathe in and out one two three okay thanks for joining again my name is Alyssa with keep the adventure alive physical therapy and performance and we are here to do just that keep your adventure alive despite chronic joint pain or osteoarthritis Go ahead and check out the description below for more articles and more resources to really help you find adventure and keep it alive.